Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now, as you have seen from the title of this video, that we will be discussing polygons in this video. So let's discuss the topic. Now let's begin with the topic by understanding the definition of a polygon. So a polygon is just a close plane figure bounded by at least three straight lines. So I'm repeating myself again. A polygon is a close plane figure bounded by at least three straight lines. And a polygon is named after the number of sides in it. So if a polygon has three sides, then it is named as a triangle. If it has four sides, then a quadrilateral, five, then a pentagon, six, then a hexagon, seven, then a heptagon and eight, then an octagon and so on. Now you can have a polygon of any number of sides, but when the polygon has infinite number of sides, it becomes a circle. So I can say that a circle is a polygon of infinite sides. Now I hope that you are clear with the definition of the polygon, its naming and the examples of the polygon. Now let's move on to our next topic. Now our next topic is types of polygon. We have two kinds of polygon. One is convex and the other is concave. Let's check the definition for the convex polygon first. A polygon is called a convex polygon when each angle is less than 180 degrees. And a polygon is called a concave polygon when at least one angle is greater than 180 degree. So in the case of the convex polygon, each and every angle is less than 180 degrees. And in the case of concave polygon, one or more than one angle is greater than 180 degrees. Now in the types of polygon, we have two other types of polygon. One is regular and the other is irregular. If the length of the sides of the polygon are equal and the angle of the polygon are equal, then the polygon is called as a regular polygon. And if a polygon doesn't follow any of the criteria of the regular polygon, then the polygon is called as an irregular polygon. So for the case of convex polygon, we have a convex regular polygon and convex irregular polygon. And for the case of concave polygon, we have concave regular polygon and concave irregular polygon. Now, this is a very important point to note that if not stated, then the type of polygon is always taken as convex. So if in the question, the type of polygon is not mentioned, then we take the type as convex. Let's move on to a very important topic in the chapter polygon that is interior angles of a polygon. There is only one formula that you have to remember that is the total sum of the interior angles of a polygon that is 2n minus 4 whole multiplied by 90 and over here n is the number of sides. Now by this formula you can calculate the total sum of the interior angles of a polygon. Now this formula is only valid for a regular polygon. So this formula is not valid for the irregular polygons. And if you want to get what is the value of each angle then you can simply divide it by the total number of sides and you will get the value. I hope that you are clear with both of these formulas because you will be requiring these two formulas only for solving most of the questions. So I would recommend that you should learn these two formulas by heart. Now over here we have five regular polygons that is a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon and an octagon. Now we will check what is the value of each angle and as well as the sum of the total interior angles of each polygon. Now our first polygon is a three-sided polygon which is called a triangle. Now if we put n equal to 3 in the above formula, we will get that the total sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. And if this is a regular triangle, then we will get the value of each angle as 60 degrees. Now next we have is a quadrilateral which has four sides. Now the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees and if it is a regular quadrilateral then each angle is equal to 180 
to 90 degree. Uh, next we have is a five sided polygon that is a pentagon. On studying further you will understand that the concept of polygon was basically created for plane figures having sides greater than 4. So you can consider all the polygons starting from the pentagon as the major polygons. Now moving back to the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon, if you put 5 in the equation, you will get that the sum of the angles is equal to 540 degree and each angle is equal to 108 degrees. Now moving on to the 6 sided polygon, we have a hexagon. So the interior angles of a hexagon summed up to be 720 degrees and each angle is equal to 120 degrees. Now last but not the least we have a 8 sided polygon which is called an octagon. The total sum of the interior angles of an octagon is equal to 180 degrees and each angle is equal to 135 degree. I hope that you are clear with the topic of the interior angles of a polygon and you can easily find the sum of the interior angles and each angle of an n sided polygon. Now that was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the concepts of polygon and you will be able to solve the questions related to this topic and if you have any doubt then you can post it down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our official Instagram or Facebook page and we will solve your doubts as soon as possible. I have also provided the link to the official website of ASIN Academy down in the description so you can go check that out too. If you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.